hey lovelies welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my return subscribers and if this is your first time on my channel thank you for joining us my name is Annie Krieger today's recipe is marble cake okay this beautiful yummy fluffy marble cake but first let's take a look at the ingredients for this recipe the first step I'm going to take is to grab in my baking foam, a marble baking foam, something like this, or you can go for any normal baking foam, but this is just the shape of a marble cake, mostly used for a marble cake, okay? I'm going to add in some amount of butter and grease all around my baking foam. Use oil or butter. I am using butter today. And when this is well greased, I am going to dust in some amount of flour so here we go i have tossed all round with some flour and then i'm going to just set aside the first ingredients are my world ingredients the hull should be on a room temperature I have six egg room temperature and I also have 340 milliliter of milk. I have 250 gram of butter. It's all room temperature. Okay, then we're going to set aside. Next are the dry ingredients, which is first I have my smooth flour 400 gram. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to this and then I'm also going to add one packet of baking powder. One packet is just equivalent to 15 gram. I have powder sugar. I'm going to add into my powder sugar one packet of vanilla sugar, which is equivalent to 8 gram. And I also have my uh, chocolate powder, which is 50 gram. Set all your ingredients aside and take a bowl. Get your bowl, introduce your 250 gram butter, your room temperature butter. It should be the salt. This will generally incorporate faster. It will fasten the process of beating your butters, okay? So to my butter, I am going to add in my, uh, my powdered sugar, the 240 gram powdered sugar and the vanilla sugar. So get a hand mixer and give it a good mix. You can use a standard mixer to do this or a hand mixer, okay? Mix until it's well, well combined together and you have those creamy, good looking butter. You can always use a spatula to scrape around your bowl to make sure you have all your butter in the middle to be well beaten. The idea of using a powder sugar was to have a fasting beating process, okay? But you can go for granulate sugar as well. Yeah, this is what I have at this point. My butter looks beautiful and well beaded, a little bit whitish, no, okay? So at this point, I am going to drop in my eggs. This is my six egg, okay? You're not going to pour all at a time. Drop two by two until the all six egg are incorporated. After beating my egg in my butter mixture, I am going to add in the milk, okay? Adding your milk gently also. The moment you had your milk, guys, please do not worry about the consistency anymore because the butter or fat, I'd call it, and, and liquid 
will not incorporate well as you desire or as you wish so but do not worry this is just a matter of short time adding your flow would change everything okay so if you have watched to this time thank you so much please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so all the ingredients of this recipe is listed out in the description box okay back to our butter our mixture this is what i have the texture is not a super good looking but don't worry about that you're going to have a perfect one so at this point i am going to turn on my eat while i finish the process of my product okay so now i will harden my flour sieve in your flour gently do not sieve in everything at the time okay this process can be used you can use anything to do this process so your hand mixer or you can use just a normal wix to incorporate your your flour to your butter make mixture okay so i am using my mixer to do this on the lower speed very low speed okay sieve in flour now and there and continue to mix with whatever you feel like missing you can use spatula you can use hand mixer you can use whisk to do this process okay so when that is done i am going to use spatula to really scrape around the bowl to make sure there is no powder like the flow around my bowl or left behind in the middle of the butter okay If you have achieved this consistency, then you are going to grab a bowl and pour in some part of this butter in another bowl. At this point, it depends on how many of the chocolate you are, you, chocolate parts you want. So I'm going to pour in for about 30% of my butter in a bowl, leaving behind for maybe 70% of the other side which is the white butter okay so in my 30% 30 to 35 percent I am going to pour in just grab a sieve and sieve in your chocolate powder it depends on which part you want most it's either you want uh, the white chocolate more the white butter more or the chocolate part more but I, I kind of want the white part more so I am going for more white than the chocolate part okay saving your chocolate use a spatula and generously incorporate it So after that is done, look at what I have here. I have two spoons. I am going to add in one in the white butter and the chocolate butter. Or you can use any tablespoon. But tablespoon, I'm going to get old here. So I got something bigger a little bit. So harden your butter, your, your white butter, leaving space in between your foam, okay? Doing that, you're still going to grab in the chocolate butter and drop in between the white butter, okay? Just as you see me do. So continu continuously doing this, I will drop in the chocolate on top of the white butter and the white butter on top of the chocolate butter, okay? This is what I did all around until I make use of all the, the boat butter.
after which I have made use of my boat butter. This is what it looks like. Okay, you are going to grab a fork to just to create that marble uh, design that we are looking for. So get your fork or something like this, draw around your butter to have this marble form, marble look in your cake, okay? Just as you see me do. Bring into the oven to bake for about 40 minutes on an 170 degree C. I have been baking this cake for years. I've never seen anything go wrong. It always comes out the perfect way I expect it to be, okay? So this is my third time of baking this this week because every time I bake and bring to friends and family, they want to have more. So that just end me up baking this cake three times this week. If you bring out from the oven, you're gonna insect a fork to make sure it comes out dry cover up with plate and flip off to the other side and your cake will be ready to be served let it cool down a little bit don't be too in a haste to cut it just like me okay let it cool down and you will enjoy it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so hit the notification bell to be notified anytime i post a new video look at that guys it's amazing i tell you it's fluffy it's like it's just too good okay give it a try don't forget to like and leave your comment down below see you in my next one guys bye for now